If you're a do-it-yourself like me and you work in your garage a lot, I'm sure you're shopping at Harbor Freight and buying a lot of you tools from there. So, my name is Bill and this channel is Restoring Christine and I'm restoring this 1956 Bel Air. I'm in the middle of doing body work right now, putting down a lot of, a lot of body filler and sanding it down. And I picked up a Harbor Freight Baxter brand air file. Uh, this is labeled as a 15 inch air file. It's actually like a 16 inch deck. I'll give you a little demonstration. Works great. <laughs> If you go look this thing up, this is like the equivalent of the Ingersoll Rand 315 model. So when you look at it, it has all the same uh, shape, uh, grooves, it's got the same parts. I'm sure the innards, this is probably a knockoff. This is probably something that Harbor Freight with their Baxter series reverse engineered the Ingersoll Rand model. Uh, this sells for about 99 bucks. You can get it on sale for maybe 79. And then I've seen the Ingersoll Rand version that's the, that this is the knockoff of it for about a buck twenty, for about 120 or so. So this tool, one of the issues I have with this tool is that the the sanding pad is not the greatest quality. And I'll show you the part that you can change to get this back good as new. Let me show you that. So this tool, it takes the three inch wide strips. And you can get this sanding medium either in a sticky back single sheet, like this is the 40 grit, this is a 3M brand, and even though it's three inch, it really only measures two and three quarter. You can also get it in rolls. So this is an 80 grit, I have a 180 grit. Get this in rolls, this is also 3M brand. And again, this is only two and three quarter inches wide. So on the roll, the advantage is you can peel off whatever you want, it's sticky backed, and, and by design, this tool is supposed to be either or. It has the pad that you can go sticky back on, which doesn't always work, and then it's got the little clamps on the edges. So it's got the alligator clips that when you open it, the very end has the little teeth in it. Pull the sandpaper out, and I'll show you what my issue is. All right, so unclamped the two edges because I had a long strip and I don't trust the sticky back when the um, body filler get the dust gets behind it it doesn't stick very well but what you'll find is as you're as you're peeling this off this backing material wants to come off and then when you peel off your medium you'll see it starts to tear it look it's starting to it's stuck so it's sticking to the to the soft pad that's one of the issues so the soft pad gets torn up and then another issue is that with all air, air files, sometimes you will find yourself sanding into a corner or into an edge and then it'll gouge. So it'll gouge and tear this up. Well, this is a replaceable deck. You can replace this deck. Ingersoll Rand makes a replacement. This is uh, for the same 315 model. And I'll put the part number up here uh, on the screen. But this part number, this is available for about 30 to $35. Um, you know, when you look at it, it's about, if you can find, the, if you can find this on sale, this is about half the cost, but if you just want to renew it, finding glue and finding a pad and everything, it's a lot of labor. So for like 35 bucks, you can renew this and I'm going to show you what it's just, it's just two bolt heads, two screws. Let's get her done. Front one's a little easier to get to. It's a little protective cover. I don't think the Ingersoll Rand has this protective cover. I don't know why, but screw there, screw here, Phillips head. those screws in my pocket so I don't lose them. A little guard comes off and like all things metric seemingly <laughs> it's a 10 millimeter. Of course it's a 10 millimeter. Isn't everything a 10 millimeter? So let's see if I can get this off. Yep. Got that loose. Come down get a different one. Oh, there you go, 10 millimeter box head. Yep. Okay. And they're both off. And the deck should just come off. There it is. There's the board. So now let's look at it real quick. Let's see. Pretty near, <laughs> pretty pretty much identical. All right, so if you're watching me do this, 
give you a little heads up or at least a little bit of a background while I'm doing this. This channel, I'm restoring this 1956 Bel Air. I've got a lot of good videos on body work. I've got a lot of good videos on restoring uh, this car. A lot of metal work, a lot of sheet metal work, a lot of corrosion that's been replaced. I replaced the floor pan, the trunk pan, lowered half of the door skins, the both rocker panels. Rust repair in the front corner and the rear quarters, hood, front fenders, a lot of different stuff. So if you're interested in all that, that would be uh, what my channel is all about. And we're getting ready to, we're getting to the point where we're going to paint it pretty soon. Last little piece is to put this little guard on now that I got the two 10 millimeter nuts tight. Put the guard on. One Phillips screw, another Phillips screw here. And that's it. Let's go ahead and put a piece of sandpaper on it. I'll show you what it does. I'm going to put a piece of 80 on it. What I just like to do, eyeball it, get a little bit longer, about an inch longer on each side, and just tear it. Center it, tack it down on the bottom, on the deck. And then fold it, clamp it. And that's it. Ready to work. Let's check it out. new all right so there you have it the Baxter air file replace the deck there's the old one missing missing foam padding and the foam pad is coming apart now I got a brand new one go back put another thousand miles in this thing so that's gonna do it for this episode hope it was helpful if you enjoyed it please check out my other videos and if you like them please give them a thumbs up and if you enjoy the channel the subscription would be outstanding so till I see you next time take care of yourself Cheers.